Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad. I'm Sam. And you're watching the Butcher Bros Gaming Channel. So today guys, it's going to be a quick one. We're doing top five tips on how to improve your gameplay and how to, how to improve your KD on um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, it is 4, isn't it? Or is it 3? Yeah, 4. 4, yeah. It is Black Ops 4. So yeah guys, we're getting straight into the video. The first one is sensitivity. So, um, with your sensitivity guys, basically you change it to whatever suits the situation. So, close close quarters map, you're going to want to keep your sensitivity um, quite high. So, say you, uh, well, you're using like a SMG or something, um, a lot of corners everywhere, um, people are just sprinting around. You're going to want to keep your sensitivity high so that when people come up close to you, you can quickly flick, like, if you know what I mean. So it's just easier to easier to lock onto people when they're up close. Whereas if you're um, longer range map and you're using like a DMR or a sniper rifle, you're gonna want to lower it, lower your sensitivity because when you're looking down the scope, you're gonna try and be turning like left and right, but it's just gonna be going everywhere really. So you're gonna want to keep that part keep that part down. And also, guys, can I have a quick tip on sensitivity? Use what is good for you, not what your friends say. So if some of you, one of your friends is playing with the top sensitivity, that might not suit you. Like me and Sam play on total different sensitivities, but that's just because we're different people and we use different things. Get used to the muscle memory of that sensitivity. Anyway, guys, number two is a big one we've said about before in previous videos. Don't sprint um, everywhere. Sprint is good if you're sprinting in short bursts, just over short areas, and you know there's not going to be no heat and no gunfights. But if you're sprinting everywhere, this is a classic thing that many people do. Back. You sprint everywhere all the time, and then it. What you do with sprinting is when you're sprinting, um, it, allow, it doesn't allow you to get your gun up as fast as if you weren't sprinting. That's all. So number two is check your HUD. Number three. Number three. Sorry. Check, check number three. your HUD. Um, so, um, as you can see around the screen, you've got your ammo, you've got your score streaks, your mini map, uh, the points of the game, everything like that. So, Tech what we're trying to say shot. is um, always check. So, check your mini map, check your ammo, check your health, all this, all this kind of stuff. So, um, seeing people um, on the map, this will help a lot. You'll probably be able to get a lot Still more kills. Um, looking at your health, so you've just finished off a gunfight and you're reloading. I, well, I'd say, in my opinion, just instantly heal yourself first because you never know, somebody else could be coming around the corner. And then ammo, always check your ammo because finish with a gunfight, you've got like a quarter of a clip in your weapon and it's not going to be good when you're coming up against the next person. So, next one guys, number four, is take your time. This also goes in line kind of with the don't sprinting thing, but it, it's kind of not, but, but anyway, the, the, don't, the, just take your time within the game, um, and also, I see a lot of people, so if they run in, so if they know there's a gun, big foot gunfight in, uh, in one certain area, they'll spawn straight away and sprint to that area and kind of be blind to everything else, you know, and that's when you get, ki you get killed like from silliness, do you know what I mean? If you get killed from the side, from behind you, because you're not paying attention, you've got tunnel vision on one area you wish to go, uh, wish to go, so this is quite a high, it's quite a, a popular thing that people do, so if you're like a popular centre of the map, or point in the map, where there's a lot of action, people sprint there and kind of get tunnel vision, like I said, onto where they're going, and also this is kind of ties in with like, rage, you know what I mean, if you're getting pissed off at the game, you're getting cheesed off, you keep dying, um, if you keep, then all you'll think is, oh, gotta get to that point, gotta get to that point, gotta get another kill, try and get, win my KD back. Um, it's not gonna work, you know, you just chill out, take a breath, and scope the map, go around the edge of the map or something like that, take a different route, and just take your time. The last point will be learning the spawns. So, get used to all of the, uh, all of the maps, all that kind of stuff, where everything is, and then, um, learn the spawns, in my opinion, and my Brad's opinion. We don't really like the spawns on this map. Uh, well, not this map, sorry. This game in general, the spawn points we think they're a bit, a bit shit, really. And but, um, not necessarily spawn points, but how they switch so yeah. fast. You know I mean? Yeah, definitely. They, they, they move and switch too often, I, I, I think. So if you like randomly, you're spawn behind everybody oh, yeah, else, and please. then you get killed from behind you because they're in it's just spawn behind you. You know what I mean? And yeah. this happens in several maps. We only realise it more because we play TDM. It might be a little bit different if you're playing other game modes, but in TDM, uh, this seems to be a popular, a popular thing. I mean, the the spawns kind of switch. Uh, not on all maps, but on certain maps, they they switch very, very quickly. Which means if the teams rush them, but then half the teams got back, then you're getting enemies spawn in the bloody middle. You're getting them spawn behind you. It's it's carnage. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, so you just learn the spawn points, isn't it? That's, that's a big thing. Yeah. But it all comes to time, though, doesn't it? Yeah. You, what, what, what would you say? How, many, how long gameplay? Playing for a couple of weeks? 
play yeah, game. Yeah. Play, Playing all the cycle of these different maps. Yeah, just you're gonna get used to it. Yeah, playing on the evening oh, after for a couple of weeks, you do get used to where everybody's gonna come from and the popular gunfight zones as well. Which you do yeah. get, don't you? You get yeah. popular zones where people fight. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As you know, it means a lot to us. So thank you. Like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.